I'm going to make this video short, sweet, and to the point. So pulling rates. Normally you're going to want a specific pulling rate, you're going to want to test it, but you might find in some Logitech mice that it isn't what you think it is. So you're going to see the number, assume it's there, but not realize that say, uh, certain settings can affect it and keep it from being where you want it to be. As you notice, I have mine set to 1000. I'll check it on, say, the Zoe website, which I'll leave in the link. Um, and it caps out at 125. It doesn't matter what I change it to, always the same. Now most people, are, again, are gonna select it and choose what they think it is and then and be done with it. It might be a placebo. It's gonna be subjective, whatever. Now, if you will notice with Logitech uh, software, they have two different settings. They have the save to your computer profile and then the save to the chip profile, usually for moving across computers and certain main settings. Now, if you need to change your polling rate or your report rate, you need to make sure that it's set in the chip profile. Uh, without doing this, it's not going to change. See, once I change it, now I'm getting that 1,000 I was looking for. If I change it to 500, it's going to be back to 500. Now, I do believe this is a bug, how it be, uh, or else they wouldn't allow you to change it within both settings. Um, but no matter what I do, uh, I have to have it changed within this. If I want 1,000, I set it there. Uh, and then I can go back here, and now it doesn't matter what this is set to, it's going to follow what the chip settings are. I keep it matched just in case, peace of mind, that if there is some sort of mismatch or whatever. However, the numbers aren't usually going to lie. Uh, and the reason I bring this up is because I normally have it in my computer profile settings, you know, things like enhanced pointer precision, I like to make sure they're off, don't somehow get turned on. and. Um, yeah, so I don't know what mouses are going to affect. I think I already said I have the 402, uh, but I would like to know if you have a Logitech mouse, if yours is affected by the same. Again, I'll leave this so you can find it and test it out. And also, sometimes I've noticed the site goes down. There's other programs. I might link those as well just in case, but uh, I'd like to see your findings with what model you have, if it's just an issue in the software or just the firmware of this particular mouse. But uh, thank you, and hopefully if it did affect you, it took a long time for me to figure out that uh, this was the answer you were looking for, and yeah, hopefully it's something that gets fixed.